Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, where I talk about the latest and most interesting topics in American politics today. I have a very special video for you. I'm going to discuss a topic that no one has made a video on before. It's about the political ideology of states in the United States. You may have heard of the terms red states and blue states, which refer to the states that usually vote for the Republican or Democratic Party, respectively, in presidential elections. But did you know that there is more to the political ideology of states than just their party preference? In fact, there are many factors that influence how a state leans politically, such as its history, culture, economy, demographics, religion, education, and more. In this video, I'm going to show you a map of the United States that ranks the states by their political ideology, based on a comprehensive analysis of various indicators and data sources. I'm also going to explain what makes each state more conservative or liberal, and how that affects their policies and politics. So, let's get started. As you can see, the map is quite different from the usual red-blue map that we see during presidential elections. Some states that are traditionally considered red or blue are actually more moderate or mixed in their political ideology. For example, Texas, which is often seen as a stronghold of the Republican Party, is actually ranked as the 23rd most conservative state, according to this analysis. That's because Texas has a large and diverse population, with many urban areas that tend to be more liberal, and a growing Hispanic and Asian American community that tends to vote for the Democratic Party. Texas also has a strong economy that relies on various sectors, such as energy, technology, agriculture, and trade which makes it more open to free markets and globalization. On the other hand, some states that are usually seen as swing states or battlegrounds are actually more ideologically polarized than we think. For example, Florida, which is often considered a toss-up state in presidential elections, is actually ranked as the eighth most conservative state. According to this analysis, that's because Florida has a large and influential conservative base, especially among older, white, and Cuban-American voters, who tend to support the Republican Party on issues such as taxes, immigration, health care, and foreign policy. Florida also has a strong religious presence, with many evangelical Christians and Catholics who tend to oppose abortion, gay rights, and marijuana legalization. Of course, these rankings are not set in stone and they can change over time, depending on the political and social trends in each state. For example, Georgia, which was once a solidly red state, has recently become more competitive than even flipped to blue in the 2020 presidential election, thanks to the mobilization of the African-American vote and the suburban vote, which tend to favor the Democratic Party. Georgia also has a growing economy that attracts more young, and educated professionals who tend to be more liberal and progressive. So, what does this map tell us about the political ideology of states in the United States? Well, it tells us that there is more diversity and complexity than we might think, and that we should not judge a state by its color or its party affiliation alone. It also tells us that there are many factors that shape the political culture and identity of each state and that they can have a significant impact on the policies and politics of the nation as a whole. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this topic. Do you agree or disagree with the rankings of the states? What are some other factors that influence the political ideology of states? And what are some other topics? that you would like me to cover in the future, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.